Hello friends, welcome to the lecture series of subject special purpose vehicle. Myself, Professor Lau Patel from Mergy Institute of Engineering and Technology Automobile Engineering Department. So, uh, in today's lecture, we will see about lubrication system and final drive. Uh, till now, we have studied about our second chapter that is principles and design consideration of special purpose vehicle with respect to different systems that we are using in our vehicle. So, in previous lecture, we have studied about different kind of brakes that we have used in our special purpose vehicle. So, in today's lecture, we will see about two different topics that are lubrication system and final drive. So, first of all, let us begin with the lubrication system. Like in case of heavy duty earth moving machines like uh, bulldozers, drag lines, rope shovels, high tonnage cranes. So, for that, we need such kind of lubrication system that can overcome the friction at each and every point. Also, uh, we need to see about the long distance pressure drop because you know it is a very huge amount of huge kind of vehicles that we are using. So, for that we need some kind of pump to transfer my grease or oil from one place to another place for lubrication purpose. For that we need such kind of uh, specific lubrication system. Now, as the number of lubrication points may be increased, we are using dual line grease system. So, in which we have different lines for lubrication system. Like in dual line grease system, we are having two different lines uh, in which the lubrication should be run. And other points on heavy duty earth moving machineries. Now, during pump operation, pressure is about 400 kg per centimeter square. So, it can easily reach from one place to another place in overall special purpose vehicle. Now, let us see about the different kind of lubrication system that we are using in our differently uh, special purpose vehicles. So, first of all, let us begin with the automatic lubrication system in which the lubrication should be done automatically or we can simply say a, it is a centralized lubrication system from which the right amount of lubricant can be goes as required. Now it is a very precise supply of lubricant. It should neither under lubricant nor over lubrication system. Now uh, we have several parts we need to lubricate. So for that we need such kind of system which should be safe, accurate and proper functioning. Now let us see about the components of system like controllers are there, pump, reservoir, metering valves, supply lines, feed lines. So this is overall diagram in which you will find controller is there, then reserve tank, then pump should be mounted below the reservoir, metering valve and different lines at which we are providing our oil from one place to another. So this is my whole system for centralized lubrication system. Now let us see about its working and its types. So for that we have different kind of uh, classifications like single line, dual line, single line progressive system, mist lubrication and multipoint direction lubrication system. So let us see one by one these kind of lubrication system that we are using. First see about single line lubrication system for single machine. So these are my components in which you can see that the oil can be transported from the reservoir with the help of pump and transporting to the requirement required components. So this is my simple mechanism in which you will find in single kind of machines and from the return valve the oil can be returned. Now let us see about uh, its advantages like it's simple and less uh, costly. Also, it can be used in construction as well as cement industries. Now, let us see about dual line parallel system. Now, as the name suggests, it has dual lines like two lines are there from one pumps and that can be easily operated with the help of one unit or also we can say it is a parallel kind of system. So, here you can see that there are two different lines that have been, has been provided uh, via reservoir to metering pump. So, first the first line can be activated with the help of valve and controller. Now, after completing the lubrication of individual lines, the second valve is uh, op uh, operating with the help of changeover valve and at that time the second line is going to be active. 
now from this method we can easily carry high viscous liquid as well as we can transport it to many points also it is very high cost it can be used in metal working plants power plants steel industries now single progressive line system in which we can see that the line from is transporting from reservoir to another system is single but there are several blockage that can be used for individual components uh, that can be used in tur wind turbine trucks agricultural machineries also in our lubrication uh, special purpose vehicle now this system you can see in your screen that is called mist lubrication system that is uh, very less uh, require and less costly and it can be handle oils only now last multi point direct lubrication system in which several components advanced components has been used motor can be used and a number of cams that can be used to actuate pressure pump now uh, that is very simple in design uh, also it is having number of application like large compressor stationary gas engines etc so these are the basic applications uh, or different kind of lubrication system that we are using in our special purpose vehicle so based on the application we are choosing either one of the lubrication system generally these lubrication system are uh, automated and centralized kind of lubrication system now let us talk about final drive like what do you mean by final drive and uh, how final drive can be useful for our special purpose vehicle so basically in transmission system we can say that the uh, after engine the power has, has transmitted to the uh, trans transmission system and from transmission system that power transferred to the final drive and from final drive we can say that the power can be transmitted to the wheels only so from engine to the wheels we are dividing my power into several stages like if we need if you need torque then you can arrange accordingly if you need uh, power or rpm then you can change it accordingly so the basically powered final drive it is a shaft that can be rotated with the help of engine and that power can be transported to the final wheel that is called final drive basically in our uh, trucks or heavy machineries or moving machineries or special purpose vehicle we are having such different kind of final drive because we all know that uh, these kind of accessories have to uh, carry such large amount of load with respect to power so for that we have special arrangement or special kind of final drive that we are using nowadays so for that this kind of arrangement is required because in the final drive you will find that uh, this is a planetary gear system from which the gear ratio should be changed at individual gears like first second third and fourth so based on that planetary gears movement we can change our final drive or we can change the overall uh, amount of torque and power required so basically this kind of final drive system that has been used now days so we can say that uh, it is a uh, final drive from which we can uh, collect power at the end of wheel and for special purpose vehicle uh, we need such more power and uh, torque uh, with respect to our applications and requirement so this is all about today's lecture so in this lecture we uh, uh, we have already seen about lubrication system that is most important topic also the a small a small topic that is called final drive so that is all about today's lecture thank you